Since many of you are transitioning into a home office in light of recent events, we will focus on some commonly asked questions on how to maintain your access to Esri's ArcGIS suite of products. How do I get access to the software installation package from home? You can find your downloads for ArcGIS Desktop, ArcGIS Pro, and other optional setups directly from your My Esri account, given that it is connected to your organization. Simply by clicking My Organizations and Downloads, you can access a list of downloads to our products. Your account must have the proper privileges to access the downloads page in My Esri. So if you can't find the downloads tab, please contact the administrator of your My Esri account. They can grant you access and the necessary privileges to My Esri, or they can provide you with the software installation package directly. If you don't have your My Esri account details or the name of a My Esri administrator, please contact our technical support team and we can provide you with these details. You now have the software installed, but it remains unlicensed. What now? If you normally log into ArcGIS Pro with a named user license, meaning with an ArcGIS Online login, you will simply log in using those same ArcGIS Online credentials. Named user licenses are unique to ArcGIS Pro. The process becomes slightly different when you have a single use or concurrent use license for ArcGIS Desktop or if you have manually converted your named user license, ArcGIS Pro. These two license types require an authorization code. So if you don't have an authorization code to authorize the license on your home computer, please reach out to one of your license administrators to provide you with one. I am the My Esri or license administrator, where can I see the details of what licenses are available? My Esri is our self-serve online portal for you to access your organization's licensing information and download the software. All licensing information can be found on the My Organization tab by clicking Licensing. You can find specific authorization codes under Authorizations, and by clicking the product you're hoping to authorize. If you have any issues connecting to My Esri, please contact our customer care team. I have a single use license. How can I authorize? Single use licenses are designed for offline and remote use. If you have an authorization code for a single use license beginning with the letters ESU, then you're all set to authorize it. With ArcGIS Pro's single-use license, the authorization process is completed within ArcGIS Pro. After the initial launch, you should see an ArcGIS Online login window. And by clicking the Configure Your Licensing Options button, you can switch the license type to Single-Use License and click Authorize to begin your authorization process. With the ArcGIS Desktop's single-use license, the authorization process is completed in the ArcGIS Administrator application, which comes packaged with the ArcGIS Desktop installation. If you need assistance authorizing your single-use license, we have some resources below in the description, including a YouTube video in our Esri Canada channel, as well as an installation guide from the Esri help page. I normally connect to a company server to access my license. What do I do now? If you were connecting to a company server to access your license, this means you were using a concurrent use license, which was authorized on a license server on your company network. If you do not have access to this network from your home office, for example, via a remote desktop connection or VPN, then you will no longer be able to use this license. In this case, you have two options. A, you can take your license offline. This option would require temporary access to your company's network. Or option B, you can reach out to your My Esri administrator to determine if there are any single-use licenses available to authorize the software 
on your home machine. How can I take a license offline? If you still have access to the company network, you can borrow a license from the license manager, thereby taking it offline for a specified period. You can do this by accessing the ArcGIS administrator and by clicking the borrow slash return folder. For more information, please take a look at the help document from Esri's help page linked in the description below. I am using Citrix to access ArcGIS desktop. Will this work? If you use Citrix to access Esri technology, you shouldn't have any issues as long as you are connected to your company's VPN. I don't have access to the software and it's urgent. If you're urgently trying to get access to your software or while you're waiting for your authorization code from your administrator, you can sign up for our 21-day ArcGIS trial for the time being. If you're an ArcMap user, now's the best time to test out ArcGIS Pro. During this 21-day ArcGIS trial period, you will get access to an ArcGIS online organization, ArcGIS Pro, several ArcGIS Pro extension products, and some other ArcGIS apps. You can access more details on how to set an ArcGIS trial up via the link in the description. I am an instructor and I need assistance providing access to Esri software. What do I do? Esri is providing free ArcGIS personal use licenses for all students in higher education to ensure continued access to Esri products. If you have any questions, please direct them to your account manager and they will get in touch with the appropriate team to pursue your request. You'll also find these three story maps with plenty of resources on how to access Esri software. These story maps are linked in the description below. Who do I contact if I need help? If you're unsure of any of the processes mentioned in this video, please don't hesitate to reach out to our technical support or our customer care teams. And if you're not sure who to contact regarding your inquiry, please refer to this table. And if you're looking for some licensing alternatives, you may need to reach out to your account manager to discuss your options. To do this, please contact the authorized caller for your account who can then reach out to your account manager. If you're not sure who that is, please contact our technical support team and we'd be happy to provide you with that information. And lastly, if you need more resources, Below in the description are some links to Esri's public resources as well as our contact information here at Esri Canada. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any further questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to leave us a comment below or reach out to Esri Canada's technical support team or our customer care team. Lastly, please don't forget to like this video, and if you want to see more Esri Canada technical videos, you can subscribe to our channel using the subscribe button below the video. Thanks for watching!